Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Specifically, we'll explore the top 20 most valuable ultra rare Lincoln one cent pennies that are worth millions. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious about rare coins, you're in for a treat. These little pieces of history hold incredible value and stories behind them. So, let's get started. L. If you love coin collecting or just have a curiosity for valuable rare finds, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Today, we're exploring a coin that's making headlines, an ordinary-looking 1974 Lincoln penny without a mint mark that's now worth an extraordinary $88,762. The Lincoln penny has a rich history that dates back to 1909 when it was first introduced to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by sculptor Victor David Brenner, the coin was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's face. Over the years, the penny has gone through several changes. But the one we're focused on today, the 1974 penny, has a story unlike any other. So, what makes the 1974 Lincoln penny so special, and why doesn't it have a mint mark? Well, let's break it down. U.S. coins typically have a mint mark to indicate where they were produced. Coins from Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, and West Point have distinct mint marks P, D, S, and W, respectively. But the absence of a mint mark on a 1974 penny tells us that it was minted in Philadelphia. Coins produced in Philly often don't bear a mint mark, especially from earlier eras. So technically, it's not an error that the 1974 penny lacks a mint mark, it's just standard for that mint. Now, here's the million or in this case, $88,000 question, why is this coin worth so much money? After all, millions of pennies were produced in 1974. The answer lies in a rare anomaly that turns this seemingly common coin into an extraordinary collector's item. Most of these pennies are only worth face value, just a single cent. However, if you find one in pristine condition, known as mint state or graded MS 67 or higher, it becomes an entirely different story. These high-grade coins are incredibly rare due to factors like circulation wear and production flaws. A 1974 penny that's been in circulation for decades will naturally have wear and tear. But a penny in near-perfect condition is much more scarce, making it a treasure for collectors. In one case, a 1974 no mint mark penny in pristine condition sold for an unbelievable $88,762 at auction. Several factors play into the jaw-dropping value of a 1974 no mint mark penny. Grade. The higher the grade, the more valuable. A coin graded MS67 or MS68 is exceedingly rare. Rarity of condition. Few 1974 pennies have been found in such immaculate condition. Demand. Collectors are always on the hunt for the highest quality coins. Historical significance. The 1970s was a fascinating era for coin production, with different materials and processes being tested. Interestingly, in 1974, the U.S. Mint experimented with producing pennies made from aluminum due to rising copper costs. While these aluminum pennies never officially circulated, this experiment contributed to the intrigue surrounding the 1974 penny series. So, you're probably wondering, could you be sitting on a small fortune without even knowing it? Well, if you have a 1974 penny, here's what you should do to check if it might be worth thousands. Look for the mint mark. First, check for a mint mark. If there's no P, D, or S, it's from the Philadelphia Mint, just like the rare one we're discussing. Check the condition. Examine the coin under good lighting or with a magnifying glass. Is the coin still shiny? Are there any scratches or marks? The fewer the imperfections, the better. Consider getting it graded. If your coin appears to be in excellent condition, you might want to send it to a professional grading service, like PCGS or NGC, to officially evaluate its grade. If it comes back as a high-grade MS67 or above, you could be looking at a valuable coin. Consult experts or auction houses. If you think you've hit the jackpot, Reach out to coin experts or auction houses specializing in rare coins. They can help you determine the true market value. As of today, 
The market value for a 1974 no mint Mark Lincoln penny in mint condition can fluctuate, but we're seeing numbers as high as $88,762 in recent auctions. The reason the price is so high is partly due to the scarcity of top quality examples. Of course, not every 1974 penny is going to fetch this kind of money, but if you're lucky enough to own one in pristine condition, you could be in for a huge payday. So there you have it. Who would have thought that a humble penny could be worth more than $88,000? The 1974 no mint Mark Lincoln penny is a perfect example of how even the smallest, most overlooked coins can turn into valuable treasures. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone with a jar of spare change at home, it's always worth taking a second look. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating coin stories and valuable tips. Who knows, you might just discover your own hidden fortune in your change jar. Until next time, happy collecting! Quick question for you all, what's the most valuable coin you've ever found? Drop a comment below, and let's see if anyone has discovered a treasure. Are you holding on to a 1979 D. Lincoln penny? Well, buckle up, because what might look like a common coin could actually be worth a fortune. In today's video, we're diving deep into the history, value, and the incredible rarity that makes some 1979D Lincoln pennies fetch up to an astonishing $65,972 on the market. Before we get into why this coin could be worth so much, let's start with a bit of history. The Lincoln cent, or what most of us call the penny, has been in circulation since 1909. It was introduced to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's portrait. Over the years, the Lincoln cent has gone through several design changes and metal compositions, but it remains one of the most iconic coins in American history. Now, fast forward to 1979. The U.S. Mint produced billions of pennies across its three mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The Denver Mint, represented by the small D mint mark, produced over 4 billion pennies that year. So, with such a massive number of coins produced, what makes the 1979 D penny so special? Great question. The answer lies in its condition and certain rare varieties that collectors are hunting for. The vast majority of 1979 D pennies are made of copper-plated zinc and are worth only their face value. But some pennies, if they have specific errors or are in near-perfect condition, can be incredibly valuable. One of the most important factors that determines a coin's value is its grade. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect mint state coin. Coins graded at MS67 or higher are extremely rare and command high prices. The 1979D penny we're talking about today is one of those few coins that was graded at MS67, making it worth tens of thousands of dollars. Another factor that can make a 1979D penny worth a lot more is the presence of minting errors. Error coins occur when something goes wrong during the minting process, and collectors absolutely love them. Some of the most valuable errors include off-center strikes, double dies, or coins struck on the wrong planchet. Now, while these error coins are incredibly rare, if you happen to come across one, it could be worth much more than a regular penny. In fact, some error pennies from 1979 have sold for several thousand dollars at auction. So, what's the current market value of the 1979D penny in pristine condition? Well, one specific 1979D Lincoln cent in mint state condition sold for a jaw-dropping $65,972 at auction. The reason for this high value lies in its condition, rarity, and demand from collectors. In top condition, coins like these are highly sought after because they're nearly flawless. Coins in grades of MS66 or MS67 can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, depending on the auction and the level of interest from bidders. Now you might be wondering, do I have one of these valuable 1979D pennies sitting in my change jar? Here's how you can check. First, take a close look at your penny. Make sure it has the D mint mark, indicating it was minted in Denver. Next, examine its condition. 
Coins that are heavily circulated, scratched, or dirty are less likely to be worth much. But if your penny is shiny, free of major flaws, and looks like it just came from the mint, you might have something valuable on your hands. If you think your coin is in excellent condition, consider sending it to a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll grade your coin and give it a score, which is crucial for determining its value. Collecting coins is all about the thrill of the hunt. Whether you're searching for that elusive error penny or trying to complete a set, there's always something exciting to discover. The 1979 D. Lincoln cent may seem common, but as we've seen today, certain examples can be worth a life-changing amount of money. So, go ahead, check your change, dig through your coin jars, and inspect those 1979 D. Pennies. Who knows? You might just be holding on to a small fortune. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss another video on rare coins and hidden treasures. And if you've found any rare coins or have questions, drop them in the comments below. We love hearing your stories. Happy collecting, and until next time, keep an eye out for that hidden treasure. Hey! coin collectors and treasure hunters. Ever heard of a penny that could be worth thousands of dollars? Well, you're in for a treat because today, we're diving deep into the story behind the rare 1981 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny that's been making waves with a market value of over $34,000. Now, the penny we're talking about is the 1981 Lincoln cent, and you might be thinking, what's so special about it? After all, millions of pennies were made in 1981, right? The key here is in the details, specifically, the absence of a mint mark. That's what makes this coin so valuable and rare. You see, most U.S. coins have a small letter indicating the mint where they were produced. For Lincoln pennies in 1981, you would typically see a D4 Denver or an S4 San Francisco. But on this particular penny, there's no mint mark. And that's what sets it apart. Let's take a step back and explore how this happened. The 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Now, Philadelphia is unique because, historically, they didn't use a mint mark for pennies. For decades, coins made in Philly were mint mark-free. So, technically, all 1981 Lincoln Pennies from Philadelphia don't have a mint mark. That might make you wonder. Why is this particular penny worth so much when thousands of other no mint mark pennies from 1981 exist? Here's where things get interesting. What makes this penny valuable isn't just the missing mint mark, it's the condition and grade of the coin. To reach a staggering value of $34,892, the penny has to be in mint state condition, meaning it shows absolutely no wear and tear, just as if it came fresh off the press. As you can see, a penny that's been in circulation looks quite different from one that's in pristine condition. Coins that are graded by professional services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, and grades like MS-68 or MS-69 are the ones that fetch such astronomical prices. In fact, the reason why this 1981 penny reached a value of $34,892 is because of a recent auction where a mint condition penny was sold for that exact amount. Auctions for rare coins, especially those in impeccable condition, often see intense competition from collectors who know the value of having one-of-a-kind pieces. So, why did someone pay that much? It's simple. Supply and demand. There are so few of these coins in such perfect condition that collectors are willing to pay top dollar to own a piece of history. Now you're probably wondering, do I have one of these valuable pennies lying around? The good news is, it's possible. But there are a few things you need to look for. First, check the date. It has to be from 1981. Second, make sure there's no mint mark under the date, as we discussed earlier. And third, and this is the most important part, inspect the condition. The closer it is to mint condition, the more valuable it will be. If you think you've got a promising penny, consider sending it to a professional grading service for certification. This could turn your simple penny into a high-value collectible. All right, let's talk about the current market value. As of now, 
The highest recorded sale for a 1981 No Mint Mark Penny in Mint State is $34,892. However, prices for similar coins in high grades can range from a few hundred dollars to several thousand, depending on the condition. Coin values fluctuate with the market, so if you have one of these, you might want to keep an eye on auction houses like Heritage Auctions or Stax Bowers to see where prices are heading. Who knows, your penny could be worth even more in the future. So, there you have it. The fascinating story behind the 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, and why it's worth a jaw-dropping $34,892 today. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who enjoys hunting through pocket change, it's always worth keeping an eye out for these hidden gems. Have you ever come across a rare penny like this? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more amazing coin stories. Until next time, happy hunting, and may you strike it rich. Thanks for watching. Hey, coin enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a seemingly ordinary penny that's causing quite the stir in the coin collecting world. Believe it or not, a 1987 D. Lincoln penny was recently valued at an eye-popping $56,933. You heard that right. A penny worth thousands of dollars. But how did this happen, and what makes this little copper coin so valuable? Stick around, because we're going to uncover the story behind this valuable coin, explore its history, and give you tips on what to look for if you have one of these hidden gems in your collection. First, let's take a step back and talk about the 1987 D. Lincoln penny. Minted in Denver, this penny features the classic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse side, and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. 1987 was a pretty standard year for penny production, with hundreds of millions minted across the Denver and Philadelphia mints. In fact, over 4.6 billion pennies were minted in Denver that year. So why is this one worth so much? What sets it apart? It all comes down to a combination of rarity, condition, and errors. Now, most 1987D pennies in circulation are worth only face value, one cent. However, a few factors can turn this ordinary coin into a highly sought-after collectible worth thousands. Coins are mass-produced, but the minting process isn't always perfect. In some rare cases, errors slip through the cracks, creating unique coins that collectors love. For the 1987 D. Penny, certain die errors or striking errors could greatly increase its value. Some coins may have been struck off-center, have doubling on the date or letters, or show other anomalies, such as a misaligned die. These types of errors are what collectors refer to as mint errors, and depending on how rare and noticeable the error is, it can significantly boost the value of the coin. Next up is condition. This is where things get serious in terms of value. Coin collectors use a grading scale from poor to mint state, MS, to evaluate a coin's condition. A typical 1987 D penny that's been in circulation for decades might have scratches, dents, and wear. These coins might only be worth a few cents to a dollar, depending on the buyer. But the coins that command top dollar are those graded MS 67 or higher. These are pennies that were never used in circulation meaning they've retained their original mint luster, with sharp details and virtually no blemishes. If your 1987 D. Penny is in this kind of pristine condition, you could be looking at a small fortune. Now, let's talk about that record-breaking sale of a 1987 D. Penny for a jaw-dropping $56,933. This isn't just any penny. It was sold at auction because it was graded MS 67 red which is an incredibly high grade. Not only was the coin in nearly perfect condition, but it also had the coveted red designation, meaning it retained its original coppery red color. I and the world of coin collecting, the more pristine and red a penny is, the more valuable it becomes. Add to that its rarity, and you've got a coin that collectors are willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars for. This sale is one for the history books, and it's a reminder that sometimes, the most valuable coins aren't the old ones or the ones made of gold. They can be as simple as a penny from 1987 with the right combination of factors. So, what does this mean for you? 
Should you start digging through your piggy bank or change jar looking for a 1987 D penny? Well, it's definitely worth taking a look. Here's what you need to keep an eye out for. Mint mark. Make sure it's a D for Denver. Condition. The higher the grade, the better. Coins in mint condition with a bright red color are the most valuable. Errors. Check for any striking or die errors, like doubling on the date or letters or misalignments. Grading. If you think your coin might be valuable, consider sending it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC to get it officially graded. Coin collectors browsing websites, checking prices, and a price chart showing fluctuations. Narrator informed tone. As for today's market, the value of 1987 D pennies varies depending on their condition and rarity. While most circulated pennies are still worth just a cent, high-grade examples, MS 65 and above, can fetch anywhere from $20 to $100 or more. And if you have a flawless MS 67 red example, the sky's the limit, especially given the recent $56,933 sale. So there you have it. A 1987 D. Lincoln penny that could be worth a staggering amount of money. If you're a coin collector, or even if you're just curious, it's always worth checking out the pennies in your pocket or change jar. You never know what hidden treasures might be lurking right under your nose. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on rare coins and collectibles. And let us know in the comments, what's the most valuable coin you've ever found? Thanks for watching! And happy hunting! Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel, your go to spot for all things coin collecting, rare finds, and hidden treasures. In today's video, we're diving into a truly fascinating and valuable coin the 1989 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. Can you believe that some of these coins are selling for an astonishing $43,938? Yes, you heard that right. A regular-looking penny you might pass by could be worth thousands. So let's break it down. Why is this penny so special? What makes it valuable? And how can you possibly find one? Stick around, because this might just change how you look at your pocket change forever. Let's start with a little history behind the Lincoln penny. First introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth, this coin has been a staple in U.S. currency for over a century. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's portrait, which was a big deal at the time. For decades, the Lincoln cent has undergone various changes, from different metals used in its production to small design tweaks, but it's remained a beloved piece of Americana. But what about the 1989 penny? What makes it stand out from the millions of other pennies minted that year? And why is it worth so much today? To understand that, we need to talk about no mint mark coins. Coins produced in the U.S. are typically minted at one of three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco. Each mint usually leaves a mark, a tiny letter on the coin to indicate where it was produced. Philadelphia coins often don't have a mint mark, while Denver pennies bear a D, and San Francisco pennies bear an S. However, in 1989, most pennies minted in Philadelphia didn't include a mint mark. So this is where the mystery of the 1989 penny begins. While no mint mark isn't uncommon for Philadelphia pennies, certain factors surrounding the 1989 no mint mark penny make it particularly valuable. Let's dive into what makes this coin so unique. So, why is this coin worth up to $43,938? The answer lies in two key factors, rarity and condition. First, rarity. While billions of pennies were minted in 1989, only a select few have the qualities collectors are looking for. That brings us to the second factor, condition. In the coin world, a penny's condition is everything. Coins that are in mint state, or in pristine, uncirculated condition, are extremely valuable. If a 1989 penny is graded as MS 67 or higher by a professional grading service, its value skyrockets. That's because finding a penny in such a high state of preservation is rare. This particular penny that fetched $43,938 was graded MS-68. That's nearly perfect condition, and those are very hard to find. 
So, how do you know if you've got a rare, valuable 1989 Nomint Mark Penny? Well, it's all about the grading. The higher the grade, the higher the value. When a coin is graded, professionals look at things like luster, strike quality, and the absence of any major nicks or scratches. Coins that have been handled less, or have been well preserved in rolls or coin collections, are more likely to achieve a high grade. To give you an idea, coins graded in the lower MS60 range can be worth around $50 to $200. But when you jump to an MS68, that's when we're talking tens of thousands of dollars. In 2019, one of these ultra-rare 1989 pennies sold for $43,938 at auction. So, you're probably wondering, how can I find one of these valuable pennies? Well, it's not impossible, but it's definitely a treasure hunt. First, start by checking your pocket change, old penny rolls, or even that jar of coins you've been collecting for years. Look for any 1989 pennies that are in great condition. If you think you've got one, your next step is to have it professionally graded. Contact a reputable coin grading service, like PCGS or NGC, to get an official evaluation. If your penny is in excellent shape, it could be worth more than you think. The coin market is always fluctuating, but right now, interest in high-grade Lincoln pennies is on the rise. Collectors are willing to pay a premium for rare, well-preserved coins, and the 1989 No Mint Mark Penny is no exception. As of now, the record sale for this coin is $43,938. But who knows? The next one could sell for even more. It all depends on condition, demand, and a little bit of luck. So, there you have it. The 1989 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. A seemingly ordinary coin that could be worth thousands of dollars if you're lucky enough to find one in pristine condition. Whether you're an experienced collector or just starting out, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your pocket change. You never know what kind of treasure you might stumble upon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more coin collecting tips and rare finds. And let me know in the comments if you've ever found a valuable coin in your change. I'd love to hear your stories. Thanks for watching, and happy treasure hunting! Hey, coin collectors and curious minds! Welcome back to the channel where we dive into the most fascinating and valuable coins in the world. Today, we're uncovering the story behind a humble penny, yes, a one-cent coin, that could be worth as much as $67,288. I'm talking about the rare 1992 No Mint Mark Lincoln sent curious about how this ordinary-looking penny became such a treasure? Let's dive right in. Before we get to the jaw-dropping price, let's first understand what makes this coin so special. If you've ever looked closely at a U.S. penny, you've probably noticed that most of them have a small mint mark under the date. That mint mark tells you where the coin was produced, whether it's D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco or P4 Philadelphia. But on the 1992 Lincoln cent, the mint mark situation is a little different, and this is where things get interesting. In 1992, the U.S. Mint was producing millions of pennies, as they do every year. But amidst this mass production, a few rare errors slipped through the cracks. Normally, pennies minted in Philadelphia don't have a mint mark, but in Denver, they should have a D. However, some 1992 Lincoln cents that were meant to be minted in Denver were struck without that D mint mark. These coins, known as No Mint Mark or 1992 D No Mint Mark pennies, are incredibly rare, and that's where the story of their massive value begins. So how did this mistake happen? The U.S. Mint uses dies to strike the design onto coins, and each die is inscribed with a mint mark that corresponds to its facility. But in 1992, a small batch of pennies at the Denver Mint somehow escaped without being stamped with the D mint mark. It's believed that the wrong die, one intended for Philadelphia, was accidentally used, resulting in these extremely rare coins. Now, let's break down what you need to look for if you think you have one of these rare pennies. Here are the key features that make this coin so valuable. No mint mark, first and foremost. The absence of the D mint mark under the year 1992 is the major indicator. High grade condition. 
the value of these coins skyrockets if they're in mint or near mint condition. The more pristine the coin, the higher the value. Wide AM reverse. One of the most important details is that the reverse of the 1992 no mint mark penny has what's known as a wide AM. This means there's a wider gap between the letters A and M in the word America on the back of the coin. This design is specific to certain pennies from the early 1990s and adds to the rarity, weight, and appearance. The weight of the coin should be exactly as a normal penny would weigh, about 2.5 grams, and the appearance should match the 1992 series, with Abraham Lincoln on the front and the Lincoln Memorial on the back. Now you might be wondering, why is this coin so valuable? The answer lies in its scarcity. Coins with mint errors, especially those that were not corrected quickly, are prized by collectors. The fewer of these error coins that exist, the higher their value. Experts believe that only a handful of these 1992 no mint Mark Lincoln cents were ever produced, making them one of the rarest modern U.S. coins. In fact, just recently, one of these pennies sold for a staggering $67,288 at auction. Imagine, something you might find in your spare change could be worth a small fortune. And that price reflects the current market value as of today. It's all about rarity, condition, and demand. Let's talk about market value for a minute. Coins, like any collectible, fluctuate in price based on a variety of factors. Right now, the 1992 no mint mark penny is one of the hottest coins in the market, especially as more collectors discover its existence. Coins in lower grades, like those that have some wear and tear, may still fetch thousands of dollars, but pristine examples are the real money makers. So, what's the market value for this coin right now? Here's what we're looking at. Circulated coins, fair condition $1,000.5000. Uncirculated coins, mint condition $10,000.30.000. High grade certified coins, $50,000 to $67,288 or more. These values are estimates based on recent sales and auctions, and with the right buyer. Who knows? You could even go higher. Now, before you start frantically going through your pocket change or coin jars, here's a little tip. Get your pennies professionally graded if you think you have one of these rare treasures. Grading companies like PCGS or NGC can authenticate your coin and provide an official grade, which is crucial if you plan to sell it at auction. Grading is a process where professionals carefully inspect your coin for details like wear, surface quality, and minting errors. The higher the grade, the higher the value. To sum it up, the 1992 No Mint Mark Lincoln Cent is a true gem in the world of coin collecting. Its fascinating history as a minting error, combined with its extreme rarity and desirability, make it one of the most valuable pennies in existence today. So, whether you're a seasoned coin collector or someone who's just hearing about this coin for the first time, keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you might stumble upon a $67,288 penny. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed learning about this rare and valuable coin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on more exciting coin stories. Also, let me know in the comments, what's the rarest coin you've ever come across? I'd love to hear your stories. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating piece of numismatic history the 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. If you've ever wondered how a penny could be worth so much, stay tuned as we explore its history, rarity, and why it's currently valued at an astounding $66,282. Let's get started. The Lincoln Penny has been an iconic part of American currency since its introduction in 1909, commemorating President Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this coin features Lincoln's profile on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, a design that lasted until 2008 when it was replaced by the Union Shield. But today, we're focusing on the 1995 Lincoln Penny, specifically the rare variety that carries no mint mark, a feature that makes it particularly valuable. Mint marks are letters placed on coins to indicate where they were minted. For instance, P stands for the Philadelphia Mint, D for the Denver Mint, 
and as for the San Francisco Mint.in 1995, most Lincoln pennies were minted in Philadelphia and featured a P mint mark, while others were produced in Denver and San Francisco. However, a small number of pennies were produced in Philadelphia without the mint mark, making them exceedingly rare. Now you might be asking, what makes the 1995 no mint mark penny so special? Well, it's all about rarity. It's estimated that only a few hundred of these coins exist today. The scarcity drives the value up significantly. In fact, the 1995 no mint mark penny has become a coveted item among collectors, with some individuals willing to pay thousands of dollars to add it to their collection. As of now, the market value for a 1995 no mint mark penny can reach as high as $66,282. This staggering figure reflects not just the rarity, but also the demand among collectors. To put this into perspective, the price of common Lincoln pennies is typically just a few cents. But with the right condition, like being graded as MS67 or higher, the 1995 no mint mark can fetch incredible amounts at auction. So, how can you tell if you have a 1995 no mint mark penny? First, examine the obverse side for the year. Next, Check for the absence of a mint mark, which should be located just below the date on the front side of the coin. You also want to assess the coin's condition. The better the condition, the more valuable it is. Look for signs of wear, scratches, or discoloration. Coins graded higher than MS65 can significantly increase in value. If you think you might have a 1995 no mint mark penny, you may want to get it appraised. Reputable coin dealers Online marketplaces like eBay and auction houses are all great places to sell or purchase rare coins. Always ensure that you're dealing with trustworthy sellers to avoid scams. In conclusion, the 1995 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny is not just a coin. It's a piece of history that showcases the incredible journey of American currency and the enthusiasm of collectors. If you've enjoyed learning about this unique penny, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the world of coins and collectibles. And remember, keep your eyes peeled for rare coins. They could be hiding in your pocket. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hey there, coin collectors and enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating piece of American currency. The 1998 Lincoln One Cent Penny Without a Mint Mark. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary penny can be worth a staggering $77,999. So, let's get started on this exciting journey through history, value, and the current market for this rare coin. The Lincoln penny has been a staple in American coinage since its introduction in 1909, celebrating the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. However, the 1998 penny has a unique story of its own. The standard 1998 one cent coin is made from 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper, and it features the iconic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, designed by Victor David Brenner. The reverse showcases the Lincoln Memorial, a design that was used from 1959 until 2008. Now, let's talk about mint marks. Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced, and they can significantly affect a coin's value. The 1998 Lincoln Penny was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The ones with a P mint mark from Philadelphia are the most common. But here's the kicker. If you find a 1998 Penny with no mint mark at all, it indicates it was produced in Philadelphia. But this specific coin is rare because it is often confused with other more common coins from that year. The lack of a mint mark may not sound like a big deal but it contributes to the rarity and value of this particular penny. So, why is the 1998 No Mint Mark Lincoln penny worth such a hefty sum? The value lies in its rarity and demand among collectors. Most pennies from the 1990s can be found in large quantities, but the 1998 No Mint Mark penny is different. Experts believe that very few of these coins have survived in excellent condition, making them sought after by numismatists. According to the Professional Coin Grading Service, a 1998 Lincoln penny with a high grade, like MS67, 
can fetch upwards of $77,999 at auction. The condition of the coin significantly impacts its market value. Lower grades still have worth, but the price can drop to anywhere from a few cents to several dollars, depending on wear and tear. If you're looking to add this treasure to your collection, here are some tips. Check your change. Always inspect your pocket change. You never know what you might find. Look for errors. Pay close attention to coins for any errors or unusual characteristics. Coins that have been misprinted or have unique markings can also be quite valuable. Visit coin shows and shops. Connecting with local dealers or attending coin shows can be a great way to find rare coins and learn more about their history and value. Join online forums. Engaging with the numismatic community can help you find valuable insights and leads on where to locate these coins. To wrap up, the 1998 Lincoln One Cent Penny without a mint mark is not just a piece of currency. It's a collectible that tells a story of rarity and value in the world of numismatics. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, keeping an eye out for this penny could lead you to an unexpected fortune. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more coin collecting tips, and leave a comment below if you've ever come across a rare penny in your own collection. Until next time, happy hunting! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of coin collecting, focusing on a specific penny that many overlook, the 2014 No Mint Mark Lincoln One Cent Penny. Believe it or not, this little coin is currently valued at a whopping $10,999. Stick around as we explore its history, rarity, and why it's capturing the attention of collectors worldwide. First, let's take a look at what makes the 2014 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny so special. The Lincoln Penny was first issued in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. This iconic coin features a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, a design that was in use until 2008. In 2010, the U.S. Mint began releasing a series of coins that celebrated the life and legacy of Lincoln. Fast forward to 2014. This year marked the release of the last coins in the series, and interestingly, some of these coins were produced without a mint mark. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is a mint mark? Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced. For example, a P mint mark signifies that the coin was minted in Philadelphia, while a D denotes Denver. However, the 2014 Lincoln penny has no mint mark, which is unusual for that year. In 2014, the Philadelphia mint produced a limited number of these pennies without a mint mark, which is what makes them rare. Most collectors seek out mint marked coins for their collections but the Nomad Mark version stands out for its rarity. So, what makes the 2014 Nomad Mark Lincoln penny so valuable? As the years have gone by, the demand for this particular penny has skyrocketed due to its limited availability and the growing interest in coin collecting. Many collectors are on the hunt for this penny, leading to higher market values. Recent auction results and sales data have shown that this penny can fetch anywhere from a few hundred dollars to over $10,999, depending on its condition. Coins in mint condition are graded by professional services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, can demand the higher end of that scale. Speaking of condition, let's talk about grading. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. For the 2014 No Mint Mark Penny, if you have one graded at a 66 or higher, it can significantly increase its value. When you're assessing a penny's condition, look for signs of wear, scratches, or discoloration. A penny that looks fresh and shiny will naturally be worth more. Here's a quick guide to understanding coin grades. Good, 1 to 4 heavy wear, details are barely visible. Fine, 12 to 20 moderate wear with clear details but some fading, very fine, 25 to 35 clear details, with light wear, extremely fine, 40 to 50 almost uncirculated, slight wear visible, mint state, 60 to 70 no signs of wear, with 70 being perfect. Now let's discuss the market trends. The coin collecting community is booming, 
and prices for rare coins are on the rise. The 2014 No Mint Mark Penny, with its current market value of $10,999, may continue to appreciate as collectors seek to complete their Lincoln collections. If you have one of these pennies, it might be a good idea to get it appraised and consider holding on to it, as values could increase even more over time. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, remember that coin collecting is not just about the value. It's also about the history and stories behind each coin. The 2014 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is a perfect example of how a seemingly ordinary coin can hold extraordinary value. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and history. Have you ever found a rare penny? Share your stories in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting!